<laughs> Hi guys, welcome, welcome, welcome to She Talks. I'm Reese and I'm Shola. And today, Sunday the sixth of July, we're going to talk about oak couture. <laughs> Oh, what is haute couture? Haute couture is basically, I looked this up. Okay. So the hot means, or how do you say it? Hot? Haute, haute means haute, high. High. And the couture means sewing, um, literally. So that's basically, haute means high, couture means sewing. So you probably would be more familiar with high fashion. Mm -hmm. um, so basically it's like the highest form of design in the sense. So that's what haute couture means. Yeah. For many of you, you're like, well, what's haute couture got to do with us? Because we can't afford haute couture. Mm -hmm. And many of you can't afford haute couture. Mm -mm. So what has that got to do with like us? And how is that? That's like, it's out of our reach. Um, and a lot of the stuff that comes from the haute couture um, runway funnels down in some sort of way into the high street, Definitely. which and most of us are kind of like consumers of high street. And you would, you, there is such a direct link. You would be amazed as how much influence, how much inspiration the high street gets from like Hawk Couture Weeks, because that's like the creme de la creme of fashion. Yeah. And so you'll be so surprised. It reminds me of the scene in Devil Web, Devil's Devil Wear Prada, Prada, where she's like, she's like scoffs at some blue belt. Like, what colour is it? <laughs> it's just a blue belt. And then she turns around and says, just a blue belt. And then she just trickles down Bam. to like where it came from. She schooled her. We're not going to show you any Oak Couture pieces on ourselves because I just said we can't afford it. Literally, there's like 2,000 women in the whole world that buys Hawk Couture. Mm -hmm. And 200 of those 2,000 women are regular customers. And you'll find a lot of the time you'll see the rest of their pieces or some of their dresses on. They are loaned to celebrities that yeah. wear them on the red carpet for the Oscars or something. You heard her right, loan. 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 They're not, <laughs> they don't keep it. Like their stylist collects it for them, <laughs> brings it to the celebrity. They try on the different different designers, see which one they love. Then the one that they love, they get it fitted mm -hmm. to them as well, whatever, how much time they have, the yeah. better the fit. The other day to me, you were saying something about how you have to be in good favours with the designer. You do, it's all by appointment. So mm. you can't just go there and be like, oh, I wanna have a fitting. You have to be, literally, you have to make an appointment and they have to believe that, okay, she is worthy enough to be in one of our dresses. So as, as Charlotte said, um, there's only a small, small amount of women that actually are known as their clients. They know in like kind of like a high society club think of it as gossip girl mm -hmm. um they in that club so they can go no matter regardless what as soon as the show's over they have their looks they have they have their appointments and they get that done you have to be like yo valentino yo, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you kind of have to be like up in their sort of circle if you know what i mean <laughs> my first person is going to be alexander voltaire and um, as i said he's a french designer i only started to know about him probably like a year and a half ago um he has worked with Thierry Mugler, so you know that from the Angel Perfume, and Balenciaga as well. Um, and he, you can see his pieces on Beyonce. So on her full out, on her, do you know, the, like the album cover, she had like quite a few. She was wearing like a red fur stole, and she was wearing like um, like hot pants. The red stole was his, and Rihanna's also worn him. Rihanna's a huge fan of his um, for her Go Hard video with. Um, Young Yeezy, Young Jeezy, Young Jeezy. Young Jeezy. <laughs> How I know this, names. I don't know, but I think it's Young Jeezy. Um, she's wearing kind of like a green corporal hat, um, aviator sunglasses, and then she's wearing a white long sleeve top mm -hmm. with really structured shoulders, and it's kind of got a V neck. That is the um, top from Alexander Voltaire. Um, but you can Google Rihanna and Alexander Voltaire and you will see loads and loads of pieces that she's worn of his. Um, so for his Fall 13 collection, um, he was really, how can I explain it? It was, I don't want to say rock chic, but it was really, really sexy. Um, he done, everything was black. The catwalk was black, the backdrop was black, and most of the pieces were actually black. Um, so what he was doing was quite a lot of laser cutting. He would wear, he would do trousers, but the trousers would be draped with satin or oh, silk. Gorgeous. And then he made, put a lot of emphasis on the belts as well. I heard an um, interview he was talking about. He said like every small detail he wanted to make sure was precise. So he wouldn't just put like a block of leather. He would make sure it was sequined well. And even his dresses would kind of appeal to, 
I think kind of like the younger youth because there was one piece that he that he made and um kind of like a bell because I was like that's not long enough to class as a skirt no. but I mean um it'd be underwear on me on me too but I mean if you <laughs> as Charlotte said you have to think about how it translates to high street so some of you may have worn like a few mini dresses that have asymmetrical lines mm -hmm. so kind of like it looks like it's a slanted line that's one of the pieces that he made I could put that on <laughs> I wouldn't come out of where it where would you go in something like that I don't know and I I, I haven't seen place. Just for the shop value. Uh, if he wear... told me I'll let you wear one of my dresses and he was gonna sew me in it, I wouldn't wee. I <laughs> I wouldn't go to the toilet. I wouldn't even eat. Would you breathe? I'll try not to. That's the way. I swear. This is how crazy down. this stuff is. He would sew me in it and <laughs> I'll get in the car standing up. They'll have to find like a van. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> my armpit can't even sweat. Like, <laughs> I swear that all was, night just all night like this. No one can hug me, no one can touch me. I might even put makeup on. Oh Don't do my gosh. hair. Just leave it. <laughs> Air kisses. <laughs> and then that's how I go back to their telly air and tell them to take it off oh. me. And then I can go P E and oh. everything else. But yeah. The other designer that I am looking forward to seeing for fall 2015 is Suhe Murad. One of the pieces I chose was this sort of white tuxedo dress that ran down to the floor and as she walked she was kicking the fabric <laughs> so it was just literally just licking the floor in the most elegant manner it had a cut out in the back and it had the gold leaf waist belt it's all very sailor inspired um it had these gold buttons so it had like a nod to it had a sort of nautical nod but not really mm. um i think that dress uh, the dress reminds me of a skirt that mm -hmm. Zara made last year. It Absolutely. was a white skirt yeah. and it also done it in black and they put four buttons at the top and they kind of like made it um, like a slit at the bottom. Good girl. Thank See? You. Yeah. <laughs> Some of the celebrities that frequently wear Zuhair Murad is, and one that you probably would remember um, is Beyonce at the 2012 Met Gala and she wore this um, gown that was um, in, just gorgeously encrusted on the top, black encrusted. Again, it was one of those dresses where it's like a glove, the sleeve is the glove. So you literally pour yourself in it, right into your fingertips. Um, and then it was very sort of body hugging dress that ran to the floor. Then it was like this graduation where the material got lighter and more sheer as it got to the bottom. And as you get right to the bottom, you just get this blast of purple feathers that had this long train. So that was Zohair Morad, and that is a piece that I think sticks out in most people's minds yeah. when they think of him on, on the red carpet. Mm. Um, people like J-Lo frequently wear Zohair Morad, again, because he it's, he does, he, his cuts and the design of his clothes are very flattering to the woman's body. Um, and when she pours herself into these clothes, they fit like a glove, like hands down, like she wears his clothes. Um, other people like Kristen Stewart, when, you know, the girl from Twilight, when her fashion game started to, you know, you know, just, you know, pick rear its head, bit. pick up a bit. Um, those were, that was one of the designers that I think got her a lot of attention on the red carpet. <laughs> anyway, guys, thank you so much yeah. for listening to us today. Yeah. And, and we'll be back to yeah. review this fashion week. Mm -hmm. Yes. So, yeah. yeah. So, guys. Please share, share with your friends, share yeah. with Facebook, with your mum, with your dad, with your sister, with your <laughs> your please subscribe to our page <laughs> and please anything that you feel like we haven't spoken about or you've heard of a designer and you want to know more about them or if there's something where you feel like, oh, why didn't you guys speak about this when it came to one of the designers or something, mm. anything, yeah. if you want to comment, just comment down Tell below. Tell us who you're excited about seeing for yes, this week. Yes, please, yeah. please, please. Or if you actually have any oak control pieces. Mm. <laughs> Got your number, girl. <laughs> so, yeah, we're so happy that you have come and joined us, our little spiel today. So, I hope you enjoyed watching. Yeah. And, yes, please subscribe and like all, you know, you know, all the, all all the, the good stuff. All the good stuff. <laughs> and, so, guys, we will see you soon. Bye. bye.